The Popsicle Stick and the Earbuds, written by Michael Conrad. Popsicle Stick lived a good life in a good home on a good street. He spent his days lounging about the house, talking with all the other items near him. He had a lot of friends. Popsicle Stick was happy. On this particular day, Popsicle Stick was on the kitchen counter. A human walked by and set something down on the counter that Popsicle Stick did not recognize. He looked over in excitement, wondering if this was a new member of the family. He grew even more excited when he realized it was twins. Hey guys, how's it going? Popsicle Stick said. How's it going? Uh, it's going great for us. We're earbuds. Look at us. We're super expensive, boasted the earbuds. Popsicle Stick was a little surprised at their response. Oh, nice to meet you, he replied. And what even are you? One of the earbuds asked. A piece of wood? Not very useful. Popsicle Stick had always looked forward to meeting new members of the family, but none of them had acted like the earbuds. Popsicle Stick remembered that when Coupon Sheet arrived, they would spend hours talking about sports and politics. And Popsicle Stick immediately had become a fan of the Spare Change Band when they showed up. The earbuds didn't seem very friendly. Popsicle Stick was just about to try and spark up a conversation when one of the humans walked by and picked up the earbuds. See you later, loser, they said. We've got a job to do. Job, Popsicle Stick thought. What's that? He started to wonder why the human didn't pick him up as she walked by. He started to wonder if he was useful or not. He started to wonder why he had never thought about any of this before. There he sat, thinking, on the kitchen counter for the rest of the day. When the earbuds returned, Popsicle Stick got to hear all about the job they did. Oh man, our day was so great. We played some music, we went outside, we played two podcasts, we went to the gym. Pretty much the best day ever. What'd you do today, wood boy? Sit here on the counter? Well, yes, replied Popsicle Stick. Wow, sad. I guess we know who's more useful around here, the earbuds said while snickering to each other. Now, Popsicle Stick did feel sad just sitting on the kitchen counter. He couldn't remember the last time any of the humans had picked him up, let alone actually used him for anything. He felt like crying, but couldn't. I guess I am just a no good wood boy. I can't even cry. All my sap is dried up. Popsicle Stick dry cried himself to sleep. Early the next morning, he was jolted awake. Help, 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 exclaimed one of the earbuds. Left earbud just fell into the sink and now he's in the garbage disposal. He'll be ground up into bits. Through his sleepy eyes, Popsicle Stick could see one of the humans standing at the sink looking down into the garbage disposal. I can't reach it, he heard the human say. This made Right Earbud even more frantic. Somebody do something quick, screamed Right Earbud. Just then, Popsicle Stick was grabbed up off the kitchen counter. Whoa, he exclaimed as the hand carried him over the top of the sink. Popsicle Stick was lowered down into the opening of the garbage disposal, where he saw Left Earbud lying at the bottom, frightened. Help me the earbud cried. Grab my hand, said Popsicle Stick. He reached out as far as he could. Left earbud was just barely able to lock fingers with Popsicle Stick as the human pulled both of them up and out of the garbage disposal. Got it, the human said calmly as she placed Popsicle Stick back on the kitchen counter. Wood boy, you saved him! Good job! exclaimed right earbud. Popsicle Stick was proud of the job he had done. Glad we have that popsicle stick, he heard the human say. Very useful.